still no buns over here. He's had to resort to having a peppermint. There's a jar <laughs> of quite, peppermint. Wouldn't do his waistline any harm. There's a jar of peppermints in, in makeup no, which are free. <laughs> I don't suppose they're free, actually. Someone has to pay for them. There's no such thing as a free peppermint, as they say. They're not mm. very good, though. They're those ones that are individually wrapped. You get them usually at, you know, if you go to boring, some boring, boring, hideous boring. corporate event mm. or something like that. For a little while there, we had those round, hideous. chewy ones, weren't they nice? Mm. Anyway, mm. just mm. makes me want bakery even more. Thank you very much for your feedback as well this morning. We've had a, an interesting little selection of items. Oh, right. Okay, am I going first? Good. Okay, how many unconvicted like criminals... Only, like, we just organised that, didn't we? I said, I'll say thank you. Yes, but it's very for rare for me to be allowed to go first. You must admit. All right. Yeah. Thank you. How many... Good morning, Paul and Kay. Just thought I'd let you know that someone has stolen one of your plasma screens, which should be on your far right. <gasps> Good spotting. Peter probably took it. <laughs> he probably did. It actually was stolen Look before he left. It was stolen before he left. Look at that there. Oh, look at that. Something isn't plugged in. Is that where What's it was that plugged in? That, that wire just That's a little bit untidy, trailing isn't around. It? The whole place is untidy. Swivel around a bit more. Let's just have a look at it. Keep going, keep going. Absolute tip. <laughs> we'll come across Karen in a minute. Yeah, where's Karen? You'll need to wave, Karen. I'm just coming around slowly because we've got plenty of time. Oh, we're speeding up now. Yeah, bit, there okay, she is. Well. So anyway, we've counted the other plasma screens, which is lucky because, you know, we're so flush with plasma screens here. How would you know? I One bet you've goes. you've taken it home, haven't you? I know your love of gadgets. Here's what happened, right? Here's what happened. It broke. <laughs> and it actually, and this is the true tragedy. <laughs> it did. And I think I'll tell you this. I'll let you into our weird world. world. Is it not that weird? Um, that one didn't break. The one that's been stolen didn't no. break. The one over there broke. And they decided that that one should be taken over there. And so the important. gap is over there. Because yeah. apparently it's more important to have something behind Karen. Because obviously you look at Karen and you think, oh, I don't know, she's quite nice, but we need a little bit more. Um, whereas you look at me and you think, yep, that's fine, I'm happy. So there we are. We've explained the entire plasma yarn. Thank you for that. <laughs> Glad we went there. All right, one more. Speaking of gadgets that you've stolen, how much do you want for your laminator, Paul? It will save you time messing with the car boot. So you haven't used it yet, have you? Uh, and I'll tell you have what you, I did. Have you, have you? No, I haven't yet, no. but I've got it out already to go, and I, I cut out several pictures from the Herald of that Chinese guy's house up on the. the um, but what are you going to do with them once you're I'm going to laminate them, and I'm going to go around them. Oh, and I'll do all kinds of things. And but what are you going to do with all the kinds of things, Kay? Don't don't challenge me on my lamination. <laughs> I'm not even into it yet. This whole studio. I know what I could do. I could laminate I a very I large guess. plasma. Couldn't Picture I? Picture of yourself and, and we could just hang it up there. Staple it up on the wall. We, nice. need, we do need something. Maybe, I don't know, a tray of muffins or something? Maybe some. What Boston buns? I know, a picture of Helen Clark, like people used to have a picture of All Michael right, let's Joseph move on. Savage. Let's move Coming on. I've already up. got a picture of Helen Clark up on my wall. Mm. Coming up, Easter. Ten minutes away from nine at breakfast. Do you know what I'm thinking? Custard Square, Boston bun. Well, more or less. I'm just thinking, what does it take to get a free Boston bun? You know, all morning I've been carping on about your buns. Surely someone, someone out there was going to come. Not that. your buns. All morning I've been carping on about Boston buns. Still ahead on breakfast. The modern version of this. Have a look. That's the modern version of that. Look at that. How hideous is that? We will find out why Skoda's so keen to give you a free ride in their new cars. That's right after the break. And then, of course, there's another benefit of a quirky marketing campaign, particularly for a brand that's not well known. And that's getting your name and product in front of the media and you. Wouldn't, wouldn't it just have been easier to change the name, Skoda, to yeah. something else? Would have done the trip. Uh, interestingly enough, the government, the Skoda, is one of the cars that the government is looking at um, as part of its new greener fleet. Mm. Okay. And still not a bun in sight. That's breakfast for this Wednesday. Thank you for watching. We are back tomorrow from 7. For now, though, have a brilliant, uh, a brilliant day uh, from the whole team here at breakfast. Take care.